what's up everybody today and every day I don't want you to settle for average I don't want you to settle for good I don't even want you to settle for great but I want you to strive to be phenomenal and in my mind phenomenal phenomenal I'm saying it right you know simply means doing your very best to be the best you that you can be um there's things you know that we all strive to do in life you know you know whether we want to be successful in a career and a marriage and a relationship uh, in school uh, at home as a parent as a leader as a role model etc um and sometimes we just sort of kind of just you know we just kind of wing it you know we just do it here we do it there we just kind of half butt it you know but um I just want to encourage you that, you know, if you have, you know, definitely if you have passions in your life, that things that you want to accomplish, you know, in our short lives, because I'm telling you, the life we have is really short. You live 100 years, and to me, that's still kind of short. But anyway, um, I just want to encourage you that whatever it is that you want to accomplish, I want you to really make it up in your mind, because to me, that's where it starts. Um, make it up in your mind that you're going to give your all. You want to become a fitness expert or you want to become a lawyer or a doctor or be real good in school or some outstanding dancer or whatever it is you want to be in life I mean I'm just encouraging you to just really go all out um that that's gonna mean sacrifice you know because I believe that if it doesn't cost you anything then it's not even a sacrifice but um, when you make a sacrifice, that sometimes mean not getting as much sleep as you like to get. You know, that means, you know, maybe not eating certain foods, you know, that you love to eat. Uh, it's going to be meaning putting more time in the gym, you know, especially for those into health and fitness. You know, it's going to mean putting more time in the books, you know, extra time, you know, time more than you would get in the classroom. You know, like, for instance, when I was in school, you know, I studied computer science. And, man, I loved it. You know, I loved engineering and computer science, those kind of fields. And I remember there was a time when we had a project and uh, we had to, you know, um, write this particular uh, program on a problem that the uh, professor had given us. And, you know, I had some uh, uh, guys that I was working with, um, you know, like cause sometimes, he, you know, he group you together and stuff like that. And, you know, we started working on this project, man, and I was pumped up and I was excited. And this was something I was passionate about. So, you know, uh, and I look back, I noticed that, you know, I really spent a lot of time in it. Um, I also learned how you have to balance things out because, you know, I love computer science so much that, you know, social studies and other areas I might have didn't do too well because I was, you know, it was good that I was focusing and, and, and put a lot of time and energy into computer science. But when it came to social studies, you know, I wasn't giving it as much effort, you know, and, uh, you know, one of my uh, guidance counselors, you know, shared that with me. You know, you want to have a balance. You don't want to have all A's. In computer science and C's and D's and things, things like social studies and English stuff like that. So you know, later on, I, I I corrected that. I had a much better balance overall. But anyway, let's say for instance with the computer science, since that was really a truly passion of mine. Um, you know, there was a time we was working on this project, and I was determined that you know we weren't going to turn in a garbage project. It was going to be something that was going to blow the socks off the professor. That was my goal, and that was my intent. That's what I believe we was going to do. So there was, I remember one night we, you know, we in camp, we on campus, you know, in the room, the dorm room, whatever, and we was working on a project and then we was coming together, you know, you know, brainstorming different ideas and, and, and trying to get it done. And then, you know, I noticed it was like two, three o'clock in the morning and my, my two buddies, they was like, we tired, we can't stay awake. I said, okay, y'all go to sleep. I got this. And I think I stayed up over 24 hours, uh, working on that thing because I, 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 I couldn't, I was just, like I said, I was, I was excited about it. I was passionate about it. And I didn't want to turn in a good product. I didn't want to turn in an average average product. I didn't want to turn in a great product. I wanted this product to be phenomenal. And so uh, the morning came, and then you know we you know, uh, and it, like I said, you know we had some time to work on a project, but this was like the final thing where we had to turn it in. And so you know that morning came, and I was still up. Then they woke up. They're like, "Man, you been up all night?" I was, "Yeah." I said, "I'm." I'm working on this thing, and it looks it looks good, you know. So I took some of the ideas that you know we all shared together, and I put some of my own. And so when we went to class to present it to the instructor, he had to actually, you know, get on the computer and run the program that we had designed. And before we did it, you know, we saw some other people, and you know, when he was running their program, it crashed, and you would see this snow screen. Anybody ever seen a snow screen before? I mean, it just. 
<laughs> it's like it didn't look good. So he was like, mm, you know, he had that kind of face. So I was like, well, you try ours. And he tried. He purposely tried everything he could to crash the program. It wouldn't crash. So not only did you know he he really liked the program. He wrote comments all on the on the printouts and stuff. You know, back in the day, we had that dot matrix. I'll tell you how old I am. But anyway. You know, he, he gave us 100 plus, he gave us extra bonus points, you know, because of the things, extra things that was put into it. And uh, so, you know, I was real happy about that and excited. And, and, and that taught me a lesson, you know, just from that alone, you know, that, you know, when you're really, truly passionate about something, you set your mind to it, um, it there's no telling what you can accomplish. You know, there's a, there are so many amazing people in this world today, you know, and they probably wouldn't have been that had they not made it up in their mind that they were going to get out of their comfort zone or that they were going to put their very best and they're all into doing, you know, the things that they wanted to do, you know, that or they had a desire to do. Um, so I just encourage you guys that whatever it is you want to do in life, uh, don't settle for average, you know, you, you be phenomenal. Um, and, and understand this. Even if you don't get an award for it or you get noticed or any kind of recognition or any kind of praise uh, for what you do, as long as you know that you put your everything into it, your heart, your soul, blood, sweat, and tears, you did everything you could. You got on that stage. You have been, you have been uh, grinding in the gym daily. You've been eating well, clean, leaning out, you know. And you came in second or you came in third or you didn't get that first place. You know, whatever it is, don't let that stop you from sh continuing to strive to be phenomenal. Because in your own eyes, you should see yourself as being phenomenal. In my idea of being phenomenal, like I said, not, you know, saying that, oh, you won the top honors or, you you know, you won the championship or you won this. To me, I recognize you as being phenomenal simply because you put your all into it. You made it up in your mind. You got to work, and you did what you had to do. And you and and you you say I did it all. I did everything that I could do. You know. And the next time you probably give even more. You know, every last bit you got. Even when you've given your last, your last of your last, you push to give that extra little ounce. You know. To me, that's being phenomenal. So, the next time you make a list of people you think are phenomenal. Make sure you include yourself in that list, okay? This is Personal Fitness 3, where I want you to get motivated and stay motivated. I'm out.